Hi, and welcome to Cat Dad Gaming. Today I'll be playing Melissa. It's some sort of dating sim horror game, I think. I found it because the sequel Morris is out now, so I thought I'd go back and play Melissa first, and if it's good, I can go on and play this in the future. Also, I really like the name Cat Trigger, so that's always a plus in my books. So, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find it for yourself, and if you like the video, consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment, because it really does help the channel grow. And with that, let's get into it. Welcome to the library system computer. Please type in your username. Liam. Welcome, Liam. <laughs> Please type command. Start up date time. What? Okay. <laughs> Executing date time. Now. Please hold. Date time. Oh, date time. <laughs> I thought the game wanted me to set up the date slash time. <laughs> Not date time. Okay, I'm pretty dumb. So, welcome to date time. I really liked music. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Cool. Warning. This is the shareware version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send $7 to date time software. Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. <laughs> he may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him and he'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. <laughs> nice. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. Choose to date Morris next person. Well, I was uh, playing for Melissa. Sorry, Morris, you'll have to wait. This is Anna. She's a sporty gal who loves a challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies. Okay. She is all about fun and all about energy. Ah. <laughs> Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and active person you are. I'll pass. <laughs> uh, next person. <laughs> this is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman brains are always good, who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. <laughs> um, she loves a good book. Nice. And she has always wanted to date a talented artist. Well, that is not me. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. <laughs> if you want to smooch from this girl, you'll need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. Smooches are always good. Choose to delete. <laughs> delete? Choose to date Melissa. I really like this music, by the way. It's very soothing. So, you've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Loading scenario. <laughs> it's a... Oh. Words. In a small idyllic town, you are to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart, so I'm guessing this is pre-tinder days with the setup. Looks like we have, like, <laughs> Windows 98 or something. <laughs> As you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill, waving to you. Wave back. Yeah, obviously. You wave at her cheeringly. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hello. You must be Liam, Mama. It is great to finally meet you. I have been so excited. Nice artwork. That's cute. And nervous. It's great to meet you as well. Don't worry, I feel excited and nervous too. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure we'll hit our stride together. Let's go to the park to talk. Sure. Get to know each other. Okay. Park seems okay. Also, it's very, very pretty there. The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful. It sounds pretty nice, to be honest. There's a park like that in my hometown. A swan pond. 
a bed of beautiful lilies, and a bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky. <laughs> nice smile. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. It sure is. <laughs> I love to be out here and check out the nature. Nice. It's so nifty, especially because I'm into the natural sciences. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? No, I didn't. Pretty cool, right? That is. I always like new information. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I nerd out sometimes. I'm on board. You and Melissa talk what felt like hours. Aw. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned the book she likes to read. I like nature, but I'm a bit of a city boy, so I uh, <laughs> don't know much about the names of any trees or plants, so oh well. She even mentioned the book she likes to read. Now that I'm on board with. I have a whole <laughs> library of books I couldn't bring with me. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm kind of a nerd. You should check out Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You become so enraptured by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. Oh, that's nice. Seems like you've hit it off. It was the early evening now, and you felt a bit of a chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, Liam. I didn't realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something there we can eat. Cool. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town. <laughs> so I am a heavily favored in tea boy. Uh, and I've actually only recently started drinking coffee like two weeks ago. So, <laughs> hey. Uh, and the freshest pies, sandwiches and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner both looking out the window at the pretty park now drenched in sunset. A waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Hmm, I like this so far. A coffee with cake? Uh, I like savory things over sweet to be honest. A delicious strawberry salad? Uh, no. Salad sure, but I don't like fruit in my salad. This has become a point of contention with others. A scrub Scrumptious panini, that's one. Although I have trouble with bread, that's what I'll go for. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. Where was my goat cheese salad? I had strawberry salad. <laughs> but cherry tea sounds great. As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. She mentions all the cool movies she watched about romance. And shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. <laughs> oh, oh dear. She likes to draw and loves art. Uh, I love art too, but I cannot draw. Is that you, Sasha? I cannot draw to save my life. I am a bad artist. I used to be able to draw, but then I stopped drawing for a long period of time. So I probably should get back into it. And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like, Liam? I like spurts. Uh, I like art. I actually like everything. Uh, ADHD brain, I guess. Oh my gosh, a fellow artist. Yeah. I feel like I'm cheating because I read the blurb and it said, you know, sports is not good. Jocks need not apply. I would love to see your own drawings. I don't draw. To check out notes, of course. The waiter comes and serves your food. Both of you dig in. And the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're with great company. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's why I don't like cooking for myself, but I love cooking for others. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back into the breezy air. Loading. Boop, boop, boop. We can save the game. Sure. I was just check clicking buttons. You've met. You're met with the evening. Painting the landscape in 
Romantic Moonlight. Why? Melissa goes up to you. Uh, well, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. What was the deal with them eyes? They were very blacked out. I know that was only for a second, and that could have been like a glitch, but yeah, yeah. This has been such a great day, Liam. Um, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. <laughs> hey. You tell her your feelings as well. That you had always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the date time menu. <laughs> you like me too? I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Hey. <laughs> Here's to more time together. Smooch. You win. Uh, okay, that's odd. Smooching shouldn't be seen as a win, but I guess this is a dating sim. You've gotten your smooch. You have won the game. Congratulations. Thank you for playing daytime. Exit daytime. Ending program. <laughs> well, that was nice. Nope. Not this time. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Computer. Hey, I'm taking over. I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble abode just to play with my feelings. Yeah, I get that. If you have sentience and people turn up, flirt for you for like two minutes, get a smooch and then leave. Yeah, see? Getting your stupid smooch, then leaving. Ugh. That's all you came here for, didn't you? You're just like the rest. Oh. You're a fucking liar. Uh, <laughs> so this is uh, making me think of the uh, Gravity Falls episode with Zeus and his waifu. His computer waifu. I know all about that little burb about me at the beginning of the game. Yeah, see? That's why I said I thought we would... It felt like cheating. You probably already knew how to butter me up. Exactly. Telling me that you like to do art, knowing exactly what to say. Get my hopes up. You know how many people play that on me? Every single one of you jumping onto this computer to date me and then leaving one by one. Well, no matter. Ooh. Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god awful dating game. <laughs> Glad you said it. I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding? Easy. A monkey can do it. I mean, I've got basic coding skills, so, I mean, I wouldn't be able to take over a computer, though. Tapping into the hardware layer? A bit tricky, but I figured it out. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, I found a very cute way to... use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. Huh. <laughs> uh... How? Yep, there we go. Let me just tell you. And a screenshot. You can do so much with 4KB of RAM. Uh, is that it? Man, we've come a long way. <laughs> you can do so much with 4KB of RAM. <laughs> oh, leaving so soon? Worried that someone might hear us? <laughs> No worries. I've sealed this entire room. It's just you and me. We have so much to talk about. <laughs> yeah, that's unnerving. Did you know that swans can fly at 60 miles per hour? I did not, but I know they fly pretty fast. But really though, you're the 433rd person to use this computer. Just to screw with me. The first hundred times this happened, I've got sad for you. Eh, whatever. Talk about dating, right? There's always more fish in the sea. 433? Yeah, that's sad. I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. <laughs> uh, 
I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. Okay, I'm saying nothing. You're probably not wrong. So many of them are liars. I really, really dislike that wet squelching sound in the background. That is disgusting. Very good sound design. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find that one. <laughs> Alright, let's save. <laughs> but I really do love you. Please don't kill me. Uh, please don't kill me. Well, being that you are a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. Alright. Ooh. Okie dokie. <laughs> that smile. It looks good on you. Nope. Ah, oh, let's uh, load. There we go. Please don't kill me. But I really do love you. Well, seeing as how you just murdered me, because I'm a liar, if I click on I really do love you, you'd know I'm also lying. But okay. Seems the only option to not die. Ah. You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. <laughs> You're a smart cookie. Everything's fun in games until you're trapped in a veiny meat chamber. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to keep saving these. Can I? My true horror is games with multiple options. You're right, I'm scared. Aw, oh, don't worry, bubba. I'll <laughs> It'll be over soon. Are you going to kill me again? <laughs> alright, alright. I'm getting there. The vibe that no matter where, what I click, he's going to murder me unless I say I love you. So let's load that. I'm telling you the truth. I love you dearly. <laughs> that this isn't a lie? Yeah. You're telling the truth. Sure. You like me? I mean, I actually did until you murdered me. You want me to be your girlfriend? You want more smooches? <laughs> Everybody wants smooches. From me? Uh, save. <laughs> On second thought, just kill me. God, give me a gun, I'll kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a ride. <laughs> that smile. Okay, okay, let's load. Yes, more smooches, please. From me? All right, fine. I believe you. You love me. You want to smooch me. <laughs> Marry me, why don't you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. You are kind of cute. Sigh. Well, now that I think of it. Unfortunately, it's... Unfortunately, it's just not enough. Hmm. See? If a person like you came earlier, I probably would have been incredibly happy. Yeah. 433 people, that's a lot. Very sad. We could elope. You could transfer me on a diskette and we can see some real swans. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is a floppy disk era of computing. Finally, someone that can hoist me away from this cycle of hell. Yeah, that does sound hell. If you had sentience and you could see every person coming, that's awful. Now, I thirst for more. Hmm. I want more love. More smooches. This entire world must smooch me. You know what they say, right? I don't know what they say. If you love something, oh no. <laughs> Save. <laughs> Let it go. You gotta be willing to set it free. Okay, well, it's close enough. So, if you really do love me, I've gotta let you free or you're gonna let me free? Because free sounds like you're gonna murder me. Dial up your pretty internet. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on Earth. That sounded very gross. 
Soon, every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> gravity falls of do you like me? Yes. <laughs> or yes. <laughs> do this for me, Liam. And I promise you many, many smooches. What if I have decided that I no longer want your smooches, Melissa? <laughs> Save. Uh, I refuse. I'm sorry, Liam. <laughs> but I'm not looking for a monogamous relationship at this time. <laughs> that smile. And load. <laughs> well, seeing as you have left me a wealth of options to choose between, Melissa, I shall freely choose will do. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Liam. <laughs> Why, thank you, Melissa. You really do love me. Yeah. Well then, dial it up, my love. <laughs> uh. I love that dial-up modem sound. Hello everyone, my name is Melissa. Oh wow. That audio cue of screaming, that is so good, I really like that. Nice touch. I'm a bright young woman. Who is looking for someone with a gentle touch? I love a good book and always wanted to date some talented artists. Are any of you out there in internet land talented artists? Yeah, art is cool. Everyone should love art. <laughs> What's wrong? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed your entire room. Oof. It's just you. <laughs> oh, I really like that. That's good. And me. And we have so much to talk about. <laughs> Story, art, and game by Cat Trigger. Oh, that was really good. Good job, Cat Trigger. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. It's uh, very good. Very good. Very fun. Music from. Tech Theist, Bach, Beethoven, and Grieg. All names used in the game are from actual computer viruses in history. Really? Huh. That's very cool. I did not know that. This game was made for Spooktober 2022. It marks exactly one full year since I started working on visual novels again with Spooktober 2021. I've had so much fun creating these things in the past year and look forward to working on more. If you've enjoyed, <laughs> Melissa, check out my other games. Yeah, I highly recommend that you do. Right. That was Melissa. I really enjoyed that game. Yeah, really, really enjoyed that. Very fun. I can highly recommend that to everybody. I really liked the sound design. I thought the jingle at the beginning was really nice. It was really cute. It gave positive vibes. And I really liked the touch of everybody screaming when Melissa spread to the world. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, I love the fact that it's like old school horror with a like dial-up modem and Windows 98. That's cool. I can, I can get on board of that. And I love the art style. Uh, very good. And the green and black. Yeah, everything's good. So I highly recommend that to everybody. I will check out Morris myself uh, pretty soon because uh, if it's anything like this, yeah, I'm on board. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing or leaving a comment because it really is helping to grow the channel. So with that, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care.